Welcome back, Formula One fans. Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of Lance Stroll and his rather challenging 2023 season at Aston Martin. Is there a dilemma for Lawrence Stroll, the team's owner and Lance's father? Let's look back at the 2023 season and see what decision looms for Aston Martin in 2024. At the beginning of the 2023 Formula One season, Aston Martin took everyone by surprise. Their AMR 23, often jokingly referred to as the third Red Bull by Red Bull team principal Christian Horner, was the car to chase. Aston Martin driver Fernando Alonso kicked off the season with three consecutive podium finishes, and his teammate Lance Stroll showed grit by finishing sixth in the season opening Bahrain Grand Prix, despite returning from a wrist injury. The good times continued when Stroll made a remarkable comeback with a fourth place finish in the Australian Grand Prix, the third race of the season. Aston Martin was the talk of the town, and they even found themselves in second place behind Red Bull in the Constructors' Championship after the first five races. But here's where the story takes a turn. Slowly but surely, the rest of the field started catching up. First, it was Mercedes, who took over Aston Martin at the Spanish Grand Prix. Then came Ferrari, climbing above them in the standings at the Italian Grand Prix. In that race, Alonso managed just a ninth place finish, while Stroll failed to earn any points. So instead of the battle for second, Aston Martin found themselves trying to maintain their fourth place, with McLaren hot on their heels. Naturally, several factors came into play, including Aston Martin's struggle to provide necessary upgrades for the AMR23. But the disparity between Alonso and Stroll became increasingly evident. Qatar was perhaps the breaking point. Lance Stroll's struggles were on full display as he was visibly frustrated in the garage after being eliminated in Q1 during qualifying. His post-qualifying interview reflected this frustration. The sprint race on Saturday didn't bring any relief as he finished a disappointing P15. His race on Sunday was better, but he finished P11 just outside of the points. Stroll's performance has been stagnant, especially since the Australian Grand Prix. A closer look at the data reveals just how challenging this season has been for him. Even on race day, things didn't improve. While he briefly held points positions, Stroll was slapped with a five-second penalty for exceeding track limits on lap 44. A second penalty further dashed his hopes of earning points. Though he crossed the line in ninth place, the penalties meant he left the race empty-handed. Zooming out to the bigger picture, the points gap between Alonso and Stroll is one of the most significant in F1. In fact, if we exclude the Verstappen-Perez gap, it's the biggest points difference among teammates in the sport, 206 to 74. Alonso outqualified Stroll 19 to 3, and Alonso finished higher than Stroll on race day in 18 Grand Prix. Stroll didn't even start the race in Singapore due to a bad crash during qualifying. This growing gap has sparked speculation about Lance Stroll's future with Aston Martin and in the sport as a whole. Given that his father, Lawrence Stroll, owns the team, it was widely assumed that Lance had a secure seat as long as he wanted it. But his struggles this season have opened the door to rumors about a potential move to tennis, albeit one the driver dismissed. Recent speculation about Aston Martin's upcoming entry into the World Endurance Championship could also provide an alternative, raising questions about a potential replacement for Lance Stroll alongside Fernando Alonso. With the start to the season they had, a fifth-place finish in the team standings is not where they wanted to finish and will not be an acceptable result for 2024. Lawrence Stroll may have to move on from his son if he truly wants the team to be successful moving forward. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting F1 content. 
as always, stay safe and don't forget to rev it up.